Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm going to show you how to install Viper for Android on Redmi Note 3 or almost any device on Oreo basically. So without further any more delay, let's make it happen and for this you will need Magisk Manager and how to install Magisk Manager. Here is a card for you if you want to see that. So watch that video if you haven't yet or if you don't know how to install Magisk. So, let's do it. So, I have been using Dolby Atmos and that is working pretty well for me. If you have not seen how to install Dolby Atmos, here is a card for you. So now, let me just uninstall Dolby Atmos and install Viper for Android. To do that, we have to open magis then open modules now from here just hit this delete button and uncheck it now reboot the phone here as you can see dolby atmos has been successfully removed now open magis as you can see in modules it shows no modules found so we have successfully removed dolby atmos so now swipe from the left again and hit downloads. Now tap on this search button and type Viper. You can select the first or second one. I will select the first one over here and hit download button on the right. Now hit install. Once it gets downloaded, it will start the installation process automatically. Do not worry. Now as you can see here on the bottom, it shows choose which version you want of Viper for Android. So I will select the latest one which is 2.5.0.5. You can select the old one which is 2.3.4.0 and for selecting the latest one you have to press volume up. For the old one you have to press volume down key. Now as you can see it's asking for which design of Viper you want, material or original. And for that again you have to press volume up or down so i'll just press volume up now for material design once you see the installation is complete now hit reboot now here as you can see we have viper for android in app drawer let me drag it down on the home screen Opening up the app, you can see we have in-depth controls over headset, phone speaker, Bluetooth devices and even USB device. Here are the controls for each option, have a look if you need to. Now let me just connect my almost stripped off MI Pistons 3 headphones. The braided cable is almost at end of its life and the mic of this headphone doesn't work anymore. Well that's the result of my heavy usage after 3 years. Here is a card if you want to see the review of this headphone. Yes you can laugh at me after watching that video. So enough of that, let me just listen to some quick music with Spotify. And yeah, in my opinion, Viper for Android is good but not as good as Dolby Atmos and it's much more complicated to use so my personal frank opinion would be Dolby Atmos is better and much simpler than this. Yes, I did install the latest one of Viper for Android and I think the older version which is 2.3.4 version or something like that has better quality output than the latest one. You can try it yourself if you want to and let me know in the comments down below do you agree with me or not. If you just want a good go to audio mode, what do you prefer Viper or Dolby? Let me know in the comments down below again. My personal choice would be Dolby Atmos. So that wraps up this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work. This has been Tito. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.